Put aside a few minutes before I'm headed into my preschool class. I wanted to build briefly about today's mathematics in relationship to the alphabet. So today is the 24th, which is wisdom culture. And the 24th letter in our alphabet is X, which in mathematics represents the unknown. And one of the things that I've noticed is people oftentimes have a lot of fear and anxiety around the unknown because they don't know what to expect. And that is a very vulnerable place to be in. So I wanted to just share how mathematically we approach addressing that anxiety and lessening that fear of the unknown. Well, when you look at wisdom culture, wisdom is discernment. It's also the way. And any domain that you're looking at has its own culture or its own way of life. So for example, if you wanted to learn more about music production, music production has its own culture. If that is something that's unknown to you, sometimes people may have anxiety and fear associated with going into that domain. So how do you lessen that anxiety and fear? Well, one of the things that you do is you assess and access the wisdom of that culture. So how do you do that? And why would you access the wisdom of that culture? Like I said, wisdom is the way. And when you look at a cultural domain like music production, you access the wisdom of that culture by learning more about the various different production equipment that people use. There are tutorials online that you can check out. There's people literally in your community that you can personally shadow or talk to that does music production in order to get a sense of what it actually is that is completely unknown to you. Not only does that lessen the anxiety or the fear that's associated with that, but you're getting access to the terrain. Now, wisdom is the way, so that is more aligned to the terrain. But if you look at the map, the map is more symbolic to knowledge because that represents the foundation. So when I say wisdom culture, when you look at two and four, it adds up to six and six is equality. Six is equilibrium. It's balance. It's homeostasis. And that is a place that we often don't think about we need to get to when it comes to lessening the anxiety and fear that's associated with the unknown. So when you're talking about learning more about the culture or the domain of something that is completely unknown to you. You have to access those who have experience or those who are the wisest in that particular domain, because that is the way that you develop the sense of equilibrium, balance, homeostasis, and stability when it comes to engaging the unknown. Now, here's one thing too. This process that I'm talking about is proactive. A lot of times people just wait for the unknown to come to them and they're not really proactive when it comes to taking the opportunity to learn about things that are unknown to them. A lot of people, they just wait for it to come to them and now they're forced to want to learn about it. Be proactive. And that is also an aspect of wisdom culture because it's showing that you have to figure out a way to learn about that domain. So that you can have a sense of equilibrium, balance, stability, and lessen the anxiety and the fear that's associated with the unknown. Another thing that I wanted to share is some people say, well, how could you prepare for the unknown? This is one method that I'm talking about. And another important method is to have the proper attitude. A lot of people don't have the sense of humility or the type of sober mind that's important for them to engage the unknown. So when the unknown comes... It always comes at a time that you least expect it, three in the morning, in the middle of you doing well or the middle of you not doing something. That is when it comes. Seek the unknown out. Seek the unknown out because it is that way you can establish the sense of stability and equilibrium and balance and allow yourself to properly engage the unknown and not allow the unknown to engage you. So I will, this was inspiring, empowering, it was educational, and gave those of you a little bit of insight into how, well, one way that we use the mathematics in relationship to the alphabet. Peace.